Makeover towels with a few simple steps. Add a splash of color by sewing ruffles to the bottom hem of toweling fabric or pre-made towels. It's so simple you want to give all your towels this designer look. Here's how to get started. Start with one yard of toweling fabric or pre-made towels. Pre-wash your, your towels, also the fabric that you're going to use. We will need an eighth of a yard for the trim, an eighth of a yard for each of the ruffles. Next, we'll prep the ruffle. After pre-washing is complete, then I like to use the Best Press starch alternative and spray my fabric before I cut it. Then cut my trim one and a half by the crosswise section of fabric and four inch crosswise strips for each of the ruffles. Next, hem the towel. Hem the short edges of the toweling yardage. Either serge or zigzag the edge, press up half inch and top stitch. Another option, press under half inch twice and top stitch. Next, mark the towel. After the hemming is completed on the short edges of the toweling fabric, our next step will be to mark the ruffle placements. On this towel I have pre-marked at the two inch, the three and a half, the five inch, and a quarter beyond the five inch. And align your ruler again with the hem edge at the two inch and use your chalk liner pen and mark your placement. Move it up to the next three and a half inches and mark again. Repeat until you have completed the five inch marking and a quarter beyond the five inch. Next, prep the ruffle strips. My ruffling strips have been cut. I'm going to bring right sides together and sew a quarter inch along the short edges, press the seam open, trim the corner, turn right side out. I like to use the bamboo pointer creaser. It gives me a really crisp corner. Next, fold wrong sides together the full length of your ruffle. Take it to the sewing machine and zigzag or serge the edges, leaving an extra long tail for threading it through the ruffler foot. Let's review the ruffler foot. The ruffler foot has two areas that can control the setting of the ruffle or the fullness of the ruffle. On the top is the pleat fullness lever. It has a 1, 6, and 12. In those different slots at the number 1, that means every stitch a tuck will be made. Number 6, every 6th stitch a tuck will be made. And number 12, every 12th stitch a tuck will be made. Next, we have the pleat depth screw. That adjusts the depth of the tucks. On my storyboard, this showcases that all of the ruffles have been made with a 12 inch strip. These two showcase that every 12 stitch I created a tuck, either a long stitch or a regular stitch length. The next two samples show that every six stitch I took a tuck and using the long stitch length or a short stitch length. Finally, the bottom two samples show that I take a stitch every stitch, either a long stitch or regular stitch. On my sample that I completed, I used every stitch and long length. Set the sewing machine for a straight stitch, needle in center needle position. Raise the take up lever as high as it can go. Attach the ruffler, fitting the fork arm over the needle clamp screw. Clear the needle and tighten the screw on the presser bar. Now you're ready to sew the ruffle. At my machine, I already have the ruffling strip threaded through the ruffler foot. And I want to show you a close-up here on this ruffling foot. I have my fabric threading through the separating blades in the front. 
it continues under the ruffling blade. The, the ruffler blades have kind of like little teeth and it will continue under the separating guide in the back and you can see on the underside how it weaves in and out underneath the ruffler foot. At my machine I have my ruffling, my pleat fullness lever set at one and I also set up my machine for a long basting stitch. Notice that the ruffling foot, ruffling blade of the foot will gather and tuck every stitch as the ruffler foot is sewing. Next, attach the ruffle to the towel. My ruffles are completed, now I need to attach them to my towel. I will use my markings that I had drawn on earlier. I'll start with the bottom ruffle and it starts the markings at a two inch marking. Align my top edge of the ruffle with the two inch marking. Continue pinning all the way across the ruffle. Also when I was creating the ruffle I pleated with a really long basting stitch. This allows me to ease the ruffle across the towel. Continue pinning and then sew each ruffle starting with the bottom, attaching the middle and the top. The finishing step is to create the trim. I have my pre-starched strip that's one and a half inches wide by the crosswise strip. I'm going to cut a tapered end because I'm going to be inserting it into my three quarter inch bias tape maker. I'm advancing the fabric with a needle or pen and now simply press and the starch gives me a really crisp edge on my tape when I'm done. After completing the pressing, measure the distance across your towel and add a half inch. At each end, open up and fold under and press a quarter inch at each end to give you a really nice clean finish for your trim. Align your trim on the quarter inch marking and pin in place and the very last step you have to do to complete your towel is edge stitch on both sides of the trim. Make designer towels by adding your favorite embroidery, applique designs, buttons, fabric flowers, or your favorite embellishing technique.